you those Stop. magic reindeer cleats. Stop, please. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host and bosun of Bizbiliando, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube. And today we are looking at Jonas Kaufman and the new single from his latest Christmas album. The album is called It's Christmas. And the single is All I Want for Christmas is You. Of course, um, that is uh, the Mariah Carey classic from about 30 years ago. But before we do that, I'd just like to remind you all to remember to please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff we do here every week on the channel. And if you're new, hey, right, I subscribe down in the comments down below, and I will do my very best to respond to as many people as I possibly can now. I'm a huge Jonas Kaufman fan. He is an operatic god. I enjoy his voice. I've listened to his voice. I've long admired the richness and the characteristics of his voice. He's, he's got it all. He's got the looks. He's got charisma. He's a great actor. And this year, he's decided to put out his own Christmas album. And there are some crossover selections here, which I thought might be kind of interesting to have a listen to. So we are going to listen to this one. This is, of course, the Mariah Carey song inspired by that sort of Phil Spector sound from the 1960s and uh, sort of a big band swing era thing. But uh, it is by an opera singer, and so he's crossing over. I don't know. I'm unaware of any Jonas Kaufman crossover stuff, so let's just have a listen and see what he does. Okay, three, two, one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't want a lot for Christmas. There's just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Sort of like a I just want sung you spoken for thing. My own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is. want a lot for Christmas There is just one thing I need Don't care about the presents <laughs> Underneath the Christmas tree <laughs> Jiminy Christmas <laughs> This is an even bigger train wreck Than I thought it would be <laughs> Jonas <laughs> Oh hey. I don't need to hang my stockings there upon the fireplace. Santa Claus won't make me happy with the toy on Christmas Day. See, I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make okay, oh, son of a beach ball. This is just the worst thing. Okay, so some... Singers can successfully cross over into other genres, especially if they're really closely related. But this, this is, this is so far away from what his wheelhouse is. Like in operatic and classical literature, the man is a god. He's got a, he's got a voice that is just sterling. It's like spun gold, and I mean. <laughs> It's. It feels to me like there. He's like a bodybuilder in a suit that's just too small. Like he can't quite. Yeah, it's so stiff. Yeah. My wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. You, baby. <laughs> I won't ask for much this Christmas. <laughs> I won't even wish for snow. I just gonna keep on waiting <laughs> underneath the mistletoe. I won't make a list and send it to the North Pole for St. Nick. I won't even <laughs> stay awake to hear those magic reindeer sleep. Stop! 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 Please! <laughs> Of course, of course, the 2020 is the year that this comes out. Oh, this goes into the pile of what the hell were they thinking, right? 
I mean, it's one thing to record it, but it's another thing to say, yeah, this this will fly. <laughs> we just throw that up against the wall and see if it sticks. What is that, the spaghetti test? She- <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is December 1st, folks. We have a whole month uh, for the mold of nostalgia to creep through the music industry and make its way to your <laughs> to your loving ears. Oh, Jonas. Oh, man. You know, I <laughs> I have expected that this might be it. I, I called up a friend of mine who's another Jonas Kaufman uber fan and absolutely, you know, loves everything this guy puts out because it is sterling. But he said he, he saw that uh, he had come up with this god-awful idea for a Christmas album. <laughs> and he said his, his soul just broke. <laughs> It just broke. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to be serious here for a second and uh, just <clears throat> see if we can come up with some analysis here. I just want you here tonight, holding on to me so tight. What more can I do? All I want for Christmas is you, you, baby. All the lights are shining so brightly everywhere. And the sound of children's laughter fills the air. Is he going to go all Mariah Carey on us? everyone is singing. I hear those slavers ringing. Santa, won't you bring me the one I really need? Oh God! The last it's for Christmas. <laughs> this is all I'm asking for, and I just want to see my baby standing right outside my door. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Oh. Make my wish come true. Oh, baby, all I want for Christmas is. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, I thought he was going to go up. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to decide, where am I going to go with this now? It just doesn't stop. Worst thing, the worst thing ever. Oh man! I mean, they all do it. They all do it. These opera singers who come out with these crossover albums. Domingo does it. He did it with Bob Denver. I think he did one with the Muppets. Uh, Bundre, uh, Andrea Bocelli, uh, Pavarotti did it. Carreras did it. And they're all just hysterically bad offerings. But I don't know why they keep on keep making them. Like he just, it's like. Like I said, you know, it's like a, his voice is too rich. It's too pure. It's too clean. It's so awkward and so overproduced. And and you have to wonder why. Why when you, you have this great singer who can't sort of switch genres? Uh, <laughs> all I want for Christmas, all I want for Christmas is to give Jonas Kaufman a flux capacitor so he could go back in time and not record the song. Oh, my. <laughs> I totally needed that day. I just needed it. <laughs> oh, man. This year has been so awful for uh, performance artists, uh, live performers. Um, just It's just been absolutely devastating. Uh, you, you can't go out and do the thing that you're supposed to do, that you want to do, um, because, you know, it's, it's just all these new rules around people getting together. And and uh, it makes it impossible. Without an audience, you, you just can't do it. So this is what <laughs> we're resorting to, folks. It's putting out the cheesiest 
offerings at Christmas time that just, I just don't know what to, there are no words. There are no words anymore. Go back to the question, why is it a voice like his can't actually um, work in uh, this genre? <laughs> and and I think a, a, a big part of it is um, when you've been training so long for your entire life to um, have your voice sail over a 50-piece orchestra in an auditorium that has, you know, 2,000 or 3,000 people in it, and you have no microphone in front of you, you're, you're not used to what that feels like, to what, what it means to have basically someone's ear right next to your mouth. And so you can't, you can't s- scream, or you can't scream, you can't yell in the same way anymore. You have to be musical in other ways. And, and and I don't know that there are many examples of classical artists, especially classical tenors, who take it seriously and say, no, this is a different art form. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. And I'm actually going to take it seriously and learn how to use a microphone, learn how to use my voice in front of the microphone, not just resort to what I've always done before and and sing as loud as I possibly can. And I, I kind of think he got part of the way there, but it just it just was so ill-fitting. It just it kind of feels like he's just having a laugh you know like maybe <laughs> like like maybe he's trolling us you know it's like, come on really surely not surely not this at this christmas well i will leave a, a link to uh mr jonas kaufman's um youtube uh videos and so you can check them out for yourself you can have a listen to this um maybe add it to your own playlist this christmas and enjoy it as much as i did i i nearly wet myself laughing so hard um and i'm not laughing at him because i I still do admire him i still think he's a fantastic singer despite this latest offering so i'll just we'll give him a pass jonas we'll give you a pass and uh enjoy it for what it is and um yeah, thanks for this gift. Maybe you're a young singer and you're wanting to take things seriously this Christmas and uh, really hone your own craft. Um, I suggest you reach out to a vocal coach or might be li- one living in your area. If not, you can reach out to one of us in YouTube Lab. It doesn't have to be me. Um, <clears throat> if you want to take it seriously, uh, you can uh, certainly reach out to me. I'll leave a link in the description. <coughs> I'm sorry, I laughed so hard. I don't have any voice left myself. Um, Yeah, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And um, if you've made it to the end of this this thing video, uh, I applaud your stamina and we will see you next time. All the lights are shining so brightly everywhere And the sound of children's laughter fills the air And everyone is singing I hear those sleighs ringing Santa, won't you bring me?